pretty sure it's Pokemon League. Yeah, Pokemon League. Building looks so cool. I'm making my way to the Pokemon League. Let's battle to mark the occasion. Jackson the student. Sent out Meowth. I don't think I can compare this as the the levels that the the whoa, level 14. We could have been here ages ago. Yeah, I definitely can't compare this to the levels that the Pokemon League is gonna be. Well, losing's one way to mark an occasion. It certainly is. Let me also check what I have in my bag. Because if I can, I probably- I have 43 rare candies. Wow. Gonna level these up. Overdrive. Electric type move, 80 power, 100 accuracy. Probably gonna get rid of Swagger. Swagger is interesting. Boom Burst. The user attacks everything around it with the destructive power of a terrible explosive sound. 140 power, 100 accuracy. That's crazy. Toxic is guaranteed poison by the looks of it. Or no, it's 90% accuracy. But I'm just gonna... Just gonna get rid of it for that. Shift gear. Rotates its gear, boosting its attack stat, and sharply boosting its speed stat. I'm good. I don't usually get the stat changing moves. And keep them. Just gonna keep leveling up a little bit more. Pretty close to what I want it to be. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's all I have to say is just nice. We just spend all of those. Seems pretty good. Once we learn recover, which just recovers HP by up to half its max. Uh, Acupressure. pressure. User applies pressure to stress point, sharply boosting one of its allies' stats. It it's or or its ally stats. Okay. Uh, I'll just get rid of that. It seems a bit random. Counter. Uh, uh, rash... That counters any physical move, inflicting double the damage taken. Interesting. That might actually be worth holding on to. Also, high jump kick is 130 power, 90 accuracy. Power trick... Uh, the user employs its psychic power to switch its attack stat with its defense stat. Which, since its defense stat is so high, it's kind of, kind of makes sense to have that. Hypnotizes itself into copying any stat change made by the target. That is also very interesting. Um, now I have to make a choice. I'm going to get rid of psych up. And just hope that I'm making the right cho choice. Axe kick. Uh, the user attacks by kicking up its kicking up into the air and slamming its heel down upon the target. This may also confuse the target. If it misses, the user takes damage instead. Yeah, I don't think I want to keep this. Possibly, as powerful as it is, and it, the possibility to confuse the enemy. I think I'm pretty good already with uh, my fighting type moves as well, so I'll get rid of that for now. It's only got 10 power points as well, so. Well, there we go. Let's get a little bit closer. It's honestly silent here, which is quite interesting. Taking on the league. You look like you've got promise, kid. Let's give you a challenge to grow on. Cabby Paco. 
Crocodile. Crocodile. Anyway, level 56. That's a big jump from the previous user, the, pre the previous challenger. What, what, what even? Is this supposed to symbolize... Is this supposed to tell you that you're not supposed to be up here? You could've just done that with the first one. Just gonna finish you off. You have three Pokemon though. So that's cool. It probably would've been a good idea to actually catch more Pokemon and evolve more Pokemon so I have more understanding of types and what types up each Pokemon is. As we go forward. Bronzong, ah, uh, keep current Pokemon. Because it's a Steel Psychic, I should have an advantage. For the most part. Yeah, I should I should definitely have an advantage here. Let's use Overheat. Bronzong avoided the attack. Rain Dance. It's already a Sandstorm. It just makes it muddy. That'd be interesting. Also, if, if I miss, I lose the power point, which is annoying. I feel like there needs to be a dodging animation for avoiding the attack. Anyway. Uh, I don't... Surreal Edge? Uh, I don't know what Pokemon there is because I can't remember. There's so many Pokemon, it's hard to remember. Oh, wow. Cool. Uh, Overheat. See how that goes, it might not have any effect. Uh, fire moves. I just made it stronger. Uh, let's hex it. See how that goes. Possibly not very effective. Nope, it's super effective. Cool. Good to know. Thanks for the info. This information building, <laughs> this information gaining round was really good for me. Ha ha ha. Did you get some growth out of that? Yeah, I did. I also got your money, so thanks for that. Anyway, let's go ahead and head in. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Still up and about. Are you here to rest your tired Pokemon? Yes, please. This is an interesting team that we have for ourselves. Hopefully it's alright. It should be. I think we're probably over leveled. Quite possibly. So I hear Gimmigool, but I want it. I think it's up top, based on where the sounds are coming from. Yep, there it is. Bless me. Oh, there's another Gimmigool behind that pillar there. Hello, Jeremy. So, this is it. You've decided to face the G Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Jeremy. I look forward to meeting you again soon. Probably a good idea to save. Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? Let's see here, Jeremy from Naranja Academy. Is it? It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well, you may now proceed to the interview room. Thank you for coming today. Please, do have a seat. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first 
portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. Uh oh, do I was I supposed to study? I don't know if I study for the test. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind, Jeremy. Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. I didn't study for the test. Let's begin. How did you get here today? I... Walked? I guess. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Naranja Academy. Ah, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? I came to catch Pokemon. Just for fun, I guess. Came to become a champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? Uh, I want to become even stronger. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? Uh, blur, blur, arr. Which one gave me the most difficulty? I feel like it's Lavincia, but I really don't remember. It's been a while. I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? Uh... L Lono. Right? Lono. Lono. I'm glad you seem to remember. <laughs> I'm so I'm glad I do too, apparently. But do you remember which type of Pokemon Lono used? Electric. Wonderful. Building the skills needed to, for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Jeremy. What was the category of Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Ah, uh, the Firecroc Pokemon. Very good, very good. Now, please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Remind me, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? Want to become even stronger? Ah yes, that's right. Next is the final question for this interview. Where were you on the night of the 7th? Do you like Pokemon, Jeremy? Yes. Good job, kiddo. That about wraps up the interview. And let me be the first to congratulate you, Jeremy. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. On your first try, too, no less. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The, seg the second segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon Battles. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best the League has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row. No turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready to then go into the room behind me. Okay. So let's see what Pokemon we want to set up first. I'm gonna try working with my weakest one and figure it out from there. Actually, probably sending in Golden Go first makes the most sense because it's immune to most status effects. So it's probably gonna just have a good advantage to start off. I'm not sure if it's the type that I would want to have sent in first, but let's see how this goes.
Now then, let's get this started, eh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'll say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. You are challenged by Rika of the Elite Four. Santa Whiskash, okay. Well, I don't know if I have an advantage to start off. I'll finally get to battle you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't give don't don't you give up on me. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not very effective to start this off, but that's okay. So I'm guessing that this this train is probably I'm not sure I'm not sure if they're going with types in this league or not. They might just be going with battles, so. Shadow Ball. Since I should have a just level advantage possibly. Earth power is super effective. So fine, let's finish this off. This first Pokemon at least. Then we'll figure out the rest. It's definitely worth having healing items for this part of the game, so. And they're supposed to get a lot stronger as we go forward. Uh, camera up. I think that's Steel Psychic or something like that? Let's go Skeledurge. I might have the type completely wrong. Oh, it's Camera Rupt, right. It's yeah. Not what I thought it was at all, so I'm... I should have picked something completely different. I was thinking of a different Pokemon. This is the problem when there are so many Pokemon. Need to study for the test. This guy should grew drowsy, but that's okay. It's only level 57, so I should be alright to just earthquake this. Super effective. Next up. This guy fell asleep. Don fan? Uh Hmm. Maybe going with Toxtricity. Cause I think it's just a water type. We should be fine then. Or it's not, it's the other Pokemon that I Ah, uh, why is it so hard to keep track of which Pokemon is what? Boom Burst does 140 power, 100 accuracy. Probably worth doing. Nice. It's holding on though because it's sturdy. Earthquake. That's gonna be super effective. It's really unfortunate. Let me try this. Dragonite's flying type, so that should just be a good advantage in general. Surf, I guess. Dragonite's probably just good in general for just taking on any fight, for the most part. Well, I'm really uh, struggling to keep this up, but I need to. I'm. 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 I'm I should be a lot better at this, but I, it's the problem is that when. They're sending in a new Pokemon, they don't tell you if you're super effective against them or not, so you have to actually just remember. Which I'm not great at remembering every Pokemon ever. But it's fine. Sandstorm kicked up. So you Surf to finish that Pokemon off. I think there's another one or two left. Hit by Sandstorm. Clodsire. Keep current Pokemon. Nah, impressive. You really are something else, kiddo. Should be able to finish this off with Surf again, so let's do that. Let's finish this. Go on, Clods Eye. Shake things up a bit. Oh boy, I forgot about this. And I don't think I'm going to be able to Terrestrialize more than once in the Pokemon League, so... I should probably hold off on doing that entirely. Quite possibly. Well, this is going to help, possibly. Possibly. 
Oh, it water absorb. Ah, I didn't realize about that. Predation. So what, else, what else can I do about this? Other than possibly just hurricane, possibly. I don't think it's going to heal us in between fights, unfortunately. Uh, nothing is super effective, which is a shame. So I'm just going to have to hurricane this, probably. Clods I avoided the attack. Liquidation. I think we're alright. This is really not working out. This is really not working out. Can you please hit them? I'm, I think I should probably just use something else just to be more accurate, possibly. Because I feel like, uh... Hurricane is just not going to hit for some reason. So let's do Dragon Pulse. Use Protect. Protected itself. Well, Sandstorm subsided. Good. But we're still poisoned. Taking a lot of damage over time. That did not do as much as I'd like. Liquidation. And don't don't feel bad about spending a turn to heal in the Pokemon League. Or just in general, healing is helpful. Healing is their greatest advantage against Pokemon trainers. Because they can heal- like, some Pokemon trainers can heal themselves. Which I'm surprised the Elite Four members so far haven't. Oh, that was a lot. That's a lot of damage. But we can just basically heal forever. If we have enough money for it. And have already bought stuff in advance, probably would help make it rain. Why do I feel so much smaller than him? Watch a step, because things are about to get a bit shaky. Plus I used Earthquake. Shaky, I get it. It's going to be super effective. The shame, really. This is just the first fight, and I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Go, okay, Medicham. High jump kick. Nice. This is where the revives and full revives come in. Not bad, kiddo. I mean, it probably was pretty bad. So, uh, don't worry about it. I'm gonna try and heal my Pokemon up. Talk about unfair. No way I was ever gonna win that one. Still though, what a great battle. Felt good, even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the elite test. But who knows? I'm beginning to think you might be one of the few that do, Jeremy. Better stay on your toes, though. The second of the Elite Four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Coming! Oh, wow. Did you lose, Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. Are we watching from the, the side, or we're just staying in here? I'd avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. Do I not have time to heal? Hang on. I do. Good. Okay, good. Oh, that was a very concerning moment where I thought I was not going to have a chance to live. There's a lot of stuff that I need to fix up. This is also when status uh, heals are probably good to have as well. So if I can figure out where I store those, that'd be good. Uh, wake up. Awakening. That one. Gonna heal up. The other thing I probably need to think about as well is also uh, power points. If 
But I think I'm good on that for the moment. I'll start this off with Dragonite, I think, this time. Might work out better for me. Are you ready to face Poppy off the Elite Four? Yes, I am. It's so cool, you made it this far. But this is where you say bye-bye, mister. All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll bounce right off, you'll see. I can't wait for you to meet my friends. So here they come. You're challenged by Poppy of the Elite Four. Send out Copperaja. That's the one that I thought it was last time, but for some reason I just can't remember Pokemon. Go on, Raja, smash him! Smash him. Okay. Well, this isn't a great starting point, but that's okay. We are still higher level than them. Um, but I kind of want to switch Pokemon to something more effective. That was a very Metroid sound. <laughs> that was a very, um, I can't remember what Poke like, or enemy it is. But it reminds me of a Super Metroid enemy boss. Stealth Rock. That's gonna make things difficult. When stones float around the air and around our team. Overheat. Super effective. Critical hit. Skeletal special attack harshly fell. Gonna need to keep that in mind. What's next? Bronzong? Sounds pretty good for me. Gonna use Torch Song to try and increase my special attack again. Super effective. Special attack rose. I only did just over half its health. Earthquake! That's not good. Super effective. But we're still holding on, so that's good. Here we go. Corviknight. I can't remember exactly what that is, but I think Dragonite is probably gonna be fine. So let's do that. If it's the one that I saw out the front before that was weak to um ghost, that would be a shame for me. No, it's not. It's this is this is what I kinda thought it would would be, so. Pressure. Let's use Thunder. Corviknight avoided the attack. Corviknight used defense. Come on, Thunder. Avoid the attack. What is going on? Why did they always avoid the attack? Brave Bird. Damaged by the recoil. Interesting. There we go, finally. There's also two more Pokemon left, so. We're gonna have to keep at this. Magnazone? Um, what's effective <laughs> What's effective again? Uh, fire, probably. This is going alright so far. But there's still time to mess this up, so. Oh, pointed stones, I forgot about those. Uh, Torch Song. Nice. Sturdy though, so it endured the hit. Special attack rose. Light screen. High defense against special moves, that's okay. Torch song again. See if we can get that attack special attack stat up a little bit more. Yep. And last Pokemon. Tinkerton. Stick with this for the moment. I'm not scared, my last Pokemon will turn things around. Mold breaker breaks the mold. That really is just a meme in my own head. 
It's time to get dressed up all pretty, Tinky. I really don't know if I'm able to dress eyes more than once in the Elite Four. Overheat. Super effective. Very nice. Critical hit as well. Very lucky. We, we know the math. Defeated Poppy of the Elite Four. It's two down. Two to go. We'll plus probably something after that. Uh, mm. 